morning, we're Regina, and happy Friday! I hope you all had a relaxing winter break. I'm sure many of you were using your time wisely and working on science projects. Oh, you hit that on the bullseye! That's exactly what I did over the break. Well, while we're on the topic of science fair projects, I must congratulate all of you. The science fair was awesome. I agree. Gina, what was your favorite project? Hmm. I have a classmate, Irvin, who's a science fanatic, and he created a hovercraft that is powered by two fans. It's awesome. What about you? Hmm. I loved seeing all of the cute science fair projects done by the nursery and kindergarten. I liked the kindergarten project on penguins and the fourth grades on water filters. However, I must say I particularly thought my classmate Kaylee did a great job. Kudos all around. Next week, we'll take a closer look to this in, at the innovation STEM projects and cool science projects. For now, how about we begin morning prayer? Great idea. Please stand for the prayer. In the name of the Father, Father Son, and Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. It is, not, is not this the fast that I choose to lose the bonds of injustice, to let the oppressed go free? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see, when you see the naked, to cover them. Then your light shall, bring, shall break forth like the dawn. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, I hear I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness, and your gloom will be like the noonday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Malchus the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Maria Regina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you to our third grade friends for leading us in prayer. Now, our pre-K nuggets from Ms. Pistoki's class will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join us in, us in the flag. flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well done, Finn and Kylie. You may be seated. Gina, who are the lucky children celebrating another lap around the sun? We like to wish a very happy birthday to Sadie. It's time to head over to the Together We Shine studio for this week's Spotlight. John? Thank you, Angela and Gina. Dim the lights and envelope, please. This week, the spotlight goes to the entire student body for celebrating Ash Wednesday in a prayerful way. Let's take a look at how the students of Maria Regina spent a prayerful afternoon on Ash Wednesday. Gianna, what's today? And what are you here in church for?
back to the Phase 4 studio! I must say, going to Mass with the nursery and pre-K students is always a day that I look forward to. And now, we're on our Lenten journey. It's all about prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. As a matter of fact, our religious coordinator, Elizabeth, has joined us to explain to us what we will be doing as a school during Lent. Thank you, Angela and Gina. As you have already heard, during Lent, as a part of our Catholic identity, we will focus on virtues. Virtues are gifts from God that lead us to live in a close relationship with Him. Virtues are like habits which need to be practiced. If we don't practice them enough, these very important gifts will be lost. As you walk down the hallways, take a moment to look above each classroom door. It is there where you will find a virtue in which that class will focus on throughout the, their Lenten journey. So let's take a peek above the second grade's doorway. Their virtue is kindness, which means the children behind this classroom door will be fo focusing on how being kind can bring them closer to God, as well as forming good habits of spreading kindness. Over the next few weeks, I will be sitting down with classes to talk about specific virtues. I'm excited for my Lenten journey, and I hope you are as equally as excited. Back to the Faith Forward Studio. Thank you, Elizabeth. Well, friends, she's back. You know what time it is. Go ahead and sing along. Hey kids, boy am I glad to be back. Thank you so much to Vanessa for covering me on Valentine's Day. I think she did an awesome job flying. Trust me, it's not as easy as it looks, but Vanessa, han Vanessa handled it like a pro. Let's give her a round of applause. So, who's ready to see where I head off to today? I can't hear you. That's better. Well, let's get flying. Clue number one, I'm flying east across the Atlantic Ocean to this Scandinavian country. Clue number two, this country invented skiing. Clue number three, this country is also the home to the land of Arendelle. Do you know what country I'm in? That's right, I'm in Norway. Norway is a European country which borders Sweden, Finland, and Russia. Norway is known for its winter months. It's no wonder they invented the winter sport of skiing. Fun fact! Did you know that Norway is the most successful nation at the Winter Olympics? In fact, this country has won more Olympic medals than any other country in the world. Who knew? I probably should mention that the United States is second in the world. Let's go USA! Norway is known as a Scandinavian country alongside Denmark, Sweden, Finland, and Iceland. On my visit to Norway, I wanted to get a better understanding of the Scandinavian people, so I traveled to Tromsø in northern Norway. It was here that I met the Sami people. The Sami people were an indigenous group of people who actually live in the northern parts of Norway, Finland, Sweden, and even Russia. The Samis are the oldest surviving culture in Norway. They are known for having their own language, many unique traditional practices, and distinctive customs including songwriting, reindeer herding, and making handcraft items. While in Tromsø, I had the opportunity to immerse myself in the Sami culture. First up on the list was reindeer herding and sled rides. I actually got to ride a sled being led by reindeer. It was so cool. The reindeer are a large part of the Sami culture. It could be because there are more than 200,000 reindeer living in Norway. Who knew? I was so excited when I got to meet up with some of the reindeer. Not only did I take a sled ride, but I also got to feed some of them. Of course, I had to make friends with a reindeer or two. In fact, I became particularly close with one very special reindeer. Care to take a guess who he is? And it's not Rudolph. He prefers to hang out with two famous sisters who live in a faraway land in Norway. Did you guess yet? That's right, I met Sven. He was so sweet and cool to hang out with. I know we'll be BFFs for life. After my sled rides and hanging out with Sven, I got to go in a large tent, sort of like a teepee, and participated in the authentic joik. Remember I mentioned that the Sami people were known for their songwriting and unique sounds? Well, a joik is just that, a song. These ancient style songs are similar to chants. Some include words and some do, some do not. Fun fact, did you know that the Sami people helped to influence some of the music in Frozen? Well, remember the na na ye he na opening chorus from the film? That's right, it comes from the Sami people. In fact, it is called Waylee, one of the joik melodies that Sami people invented. Who knew? Well, last up on my list was checking out the Northern Lights in Norway. 
I had to see them up close and in person, and Northern Norway is believed to be one of the best places in the world to see them. They were just gorgeous. It just amazes me how, how such a marvel exists. Truly breathtaking. I definitely recommend visiting Norway. I'm sure Harrison is already planning his trip. I know it's on your bucket list, Harrison. Don't deny it. Well, before I head back to MR, I think I will go spend some more time at Sven. Back to Angela and Gina in the Faith Forward studio. Thank you, Ms. Pistoki. What a perfect time to make a trip to the Scandinavian country that the cast members of Frozen can relate to. I hope you took notes, Joe. We've just about made it to the, to the weekend. Let's head to our meteorologist to find out this week weekend's forecast. Emma? <laughs> Thank you, Gina and Angela. Well, it's the end of February and we have yet to have a snowstorm. And the snow drought will continue, so don't get your hopes up for any white stuff. However, have any of you noticed nature awakening from its slumber? Look at this picture that I took this morning. Spring is right around the corner. Today we'll see partly Scotty skies with a high of 39 and a low dropping to the 20s. Tomorrow, again, we'll see partly cloudy skies with a high around 38 degrees and a low again in the 20s. Then on Sunday, we'll see mostly sunny, sunny skies with a high of 40. There you have it, a pretty uneventful forecast. Back to the Fate Forward studio. Well done, Emma. Gina, as we near the end of the broadcast, do you have anything else to add? Mm, no, not that I can think of. I think we've covered it all. On that note, if you're still thinking about what to give up for Lent, perhaps this might help. Give up complaining and focus on gratitude. Give up pessimism and focus on the positives. Give up worry and instead pray more. Give up bitterness and instead turn to forgiveness. Give up anger and instead be more patient and understanding. Give up jealousy and pray for trust. Give up gossiping and instead compliment your classmates. And lastly, give up giving up and instead work on perseverance. Thank you for joining us. Have an awesome Friday and may God bless you. Hey, performing with us right now is the Maria Regina Arts Group singing Let the Sun Shine On and Let It Go from Frozen Junior. Let's welcome them. Oh, yeah. 
Regina, guys, let me get in here. Let me, I don't want to block anybody from their grandparents. Let me just do this. Okay, okay, I'm not blocking you. So welcome, I'm glad you guys are all here. What's your name? Alessia. Alessia, and your name? John. Are you cold, John? What's the story? Um, not, not much. You don't got the hats on in jazz. What's going on? I feel like I should be cold. I don't know. So is it fun to sing and do all this kind of acting and singing? Yes, it's very fun. Now, you guys do a play every year, right? Don't you, Marie Regina? Yes. What's the play this year? Anybody know what's yours? Frozen Junior. For, oh, you're doing Frozen Junior? Oh, mm -hmm. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob and, and? Vanessa. I think the more names we get and the more pledges we get. So this is all the grandparents, yes? Joseph. Joseph and? Elizabeth. Elizabeth and? Angela. Angela, I saw you all the way back here. You should get a little TV time. There you go. There you go, Grandma. Okay, so call in. Your? Zachary. Zachary, we, we got you, right? Your? Alicia. Alicia, yeah. all right, that's right. Let me go over here. Your? Lucia. Lucia, you see Lucia in the back here? I don't know if you can get her, right? You got her on the camera, okay? Jake. Jake, how you doing, buddy? Yeah. You, but I don't want to insult you, all right? Let me just see. There you go. I just thinking about that. Like, these hats, you could pull them down on each other, can't you? Yes. You don't mind? I don't mind. All right, good, thanks. Your name? Hope. Hope. Oh, that's a good name. I love Hope. Yeah. Samantha. Samantha. Ariana. Ariana. Oh, for, for Frozen, doesn't that work or what? Isn't there Ariana in Frozen? No. No. I'm, you don't know me. And isn't there, is that another Disney movie? Does anybody know? Help me out here. I'm dying. I'm dying on live TV. <laughs> no, we don't know. All right, Ariana, never mind. I must be out of my mind. What's your name? Danielle. You have, like, the, the nicest hat, I think. You might win the nicest hat award. <laughs> Thank that, you. Did, where did you get it? Did you have to buy it or somebody loaned it to you or what? Mm, my mom gave it to me. Wow, this is very nice. You have a very nice hat. Thank you. And yours? Alexandra. Alexandra. Well, this is them, everybody. They're awesome, these kids, aren't they? They're wonderful. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at all these lights. Amazing. Go ahead. Where's Miss Vestoki? We were supposed to build a snowman together. 